Um, and welcome to the sanctuary. This is our space where today I will be tapping in on the collective energy for the full moon in Pisces. Okay. Um, and I have some notes, so we're gonna go over the notes first. Just a little um, info about the energy of Pisces. Pisces, a water is a water sign, so. The moon right now is in a water sign, a very emotive and responsive sign, impressionable sign. And Pisces connects to a vast array of experience through being open, a vast array of experiences through being open and impressionable to its surroundings and offering compassion and harmony. So right now with the moon, the full moon being in Pisces, this could be the beginning of a more outward expression of compassionate for those that are suffering um, a more outward and fluid expression of compassion to self and a more emotive energy you know that helps aid with truly manifesting from a integral and just very open heart space that's what the moon is giving us today along with some other transits so i want to go over some transits that are pretty strong right now that are also at play um so first up we got the moon right now moon and pisces is sextile and jupiter sextile is good i remember the definition of sextile because it makes me think of sex okay Okay, so and the sex a sextile is actually reflects the nature of Venus and um, Pisces is actually exalted when it's in the planet of Venus. So right now, um, Venus and Pisces people was good shine on. Um, but like I said, a sextile it's it's a sixty degree relationship between the planets and it's the energy of openness, harmony, relaxed. You know. These, these energies and planets flow well together. They have a cooperative energy. So right now, we have a strong sextile with this moon and Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, okay? So we have the planet of exp expansion cooperating with the uh, energy of just being emotive. So we have emotion and abundance at play right now. Um, align yourself with the magic of miracles, okay? Okay. Um, and don't be afraid to truly open up and daydream about your heaven on earth, okay? Like, expand your story. The story you tell yourself about how this life thing gonna go for you, even though it's possibly the biggest ha <laughs> to spirit, have fun with it. Expand on it. Start really working with that millionaire energy, okay? And, and don't laugh at all. Truly embody the um, the oneness with that level of abundance and emote it. Be expression, be the expression of it. Okay. Another major transit that we have going on right now at the integration station because this is like really tough. This is where we have Venus opposing Saturn. Okay. So Venus is the planet of love and beauty and money, and it's opposing Saturn, which is the planet of restriction. So a lot is being shined on your your yearning for fulfillment or your um, your longing to be separated from, you know. I would say the longing to be separated from the old the old stuff, and what I mean is that is the stories and the behaviors you know that don't support you. And you just you just keep hanging on to them because it's all you know, and it's like that longing to separate from that that lower um, that lower vibrating or just that stubborn part of self because you're really ready to step into that newness. So it's just like integrating all of that. You know, you might be getting a very strong reality check in terms of your relationships and your finances because it's like how can you bring more fulfillment into this area? Okay, when you have opposition that's here to show you you know the diversity in these areas and how you need to come to a compromise to really get past this so this is where we're the integration station is that venus opposing saturn all right how can you step into this energy of being more emotionally as well as spiritually as well as financially fulfilled supported and aligned a reality check could definitely be present um and show itself at this time 
to let you know what's really blocking you. And sometimes it's you. And lastly, we got the moon conjunct neptune okay this is a fusion between emotions and idealism neptune is the dreamer planet okay so it's major imagination things and slangs happening all right don't be afraid to see where that daydream or that fantasy takes you it could literally be opening your horizons up to newness okay it can be that new daydream that you never allowed yourself to surrender to can be shining light on an opportunity or um, a new beginning that your higher self, that your moral internal compass is asking you for at this time, okay? So, that's just some stuff going on. And like I said, these are all strong. They're less than 8 degrees. Most of them are at the 2 degree mark. So, they're very potent. And like I said, with this conjunction, this last one with the moon conjunct and Neptune, I really feel like it's going to be like intense and you're going to really have to fight to focus, okay? And... It's all about, like I said, visualize it and then actualize. Visualize, actualize, allow. Visualize, actualize, allow. Okay? So allow yourself to see it. Be one with it. Start actualizing it by charging it with your words, emotions, actions, and thoughts. And then allow it to happen. Okay? But it has to go through that process because it's very intense and it might be hard to focus. Pisces, anything always taps me into the energy of like seven of cups. Like... It's too much. It's a lot. Okay, but yeah, that's en that's enough of our notes. Let's get into the message. All right. So, spirits, thank you so much for accompanying me throughout this message. Give me three cards, highlighting um, just our framework. Like, what's how is our magic already being supported here? Like, what's our magic looking like? Do you believe in magic, okay? Do you believe in magic? Give me one more card so we can just get some framework. And I want to work on the magic that's ever-present. Like, what, what collective energy or magic are we strong within that's helping us through this full moon in Pisces? Okay. Okay. We have the energy of honesty, being honest with self. We have the energy of dragons. Oh my gosh, y'all see them dragons? That was in, I forgot where it was at, but it was some dragons. Slay them all, okay? And we have the energy of gold. You don't need someone to fix you. So, um, at this time, this is just segueing into what the message is truly going to be about and i said it and it's about the energy of honesty confidence and knowing that you're already whole that you don't need anyone or anything outside of you to complete you and that um and, and in these areas i'm getting like these are more so hindrances for the collective right now it's the need to be more honest about who you are shine your light step forward be your full authentic self and it's a need for you to slay all these fucking dragons which is people places situations thoughts habits behaviors things that don't serve you that get in your way that take away your power that diminish your light that have you in a energy of confusion and it's the need to know that you are more precious than gold that you don't need someone else to fix you so I feel like we just getting gathered right now. I didn't expect this. I thought it was going to be a little bit more flowery. But no, it's like wake up and smell the flowers. Be honest with yourself. Slay them dragons because they're present. And you got to like, she has to, she's being very adamant. She's going towards them. She, she here with it, you know, slay them, move them out the way. You don't need nobody to fix you. Stop, stop thinking that it's outside you, baby. It's in you. It ain't on you. Okay? It's, it's, it's within you. You don't need somebody to fix you. You don't need a thing. You don't need a person. The power of healing is in your hands. All right. So that's, that's, that's where our magic needs to be taken more seriously when it comes to matters of being honest with ourselves because you are magic. When it comes to the ability to slay all these dragons figuratively and physically, 
and the need to honor yourself. You don't need anyone to fix you. you. You got the goods. You are the goods. All right. So let's get a message from the moon. Some messages from the moon. Where are we right now? What's the energy ever present? Strongest coming through right now. I think I'm, a, I'm seeing a, a yoni spread. Mm. Okay. That's beautiful. What's the best option? Best way through? <laughs> Bless. What's the outcome? Two cards. Okay. So the moon is here to tell us that a win-win outcome is present. Win-win. Win-win. The balance of the scales. Full moon in Libra. Might want to look into where Libra is in your chart. Okay, let's clarify this win-win outcome is forecast. Can we get a little deeper? Gemini, the butterfly. Oh, look how they go together already. This time I'm getting on my nerves. Don't start. Okay. A win-win outcome, full moon in Libra, and this we have the energy of Gemini present, curious, adaptive, collaborative, versatile, flexible, perceptive, variety seeking. When I tap into this energy that is foreshadowing this moon, a win-win outcome is forecast clarified by the energy of gemini which is that that twin that seeing both sides of the corn the corn <laughs> seeing both sides of the coin being receptive to all things you know what i'm saying like opening surrendering to either way you win when you start to it's just like whether you step into this energy of slaying them all, whether you step into this energy of being honest with yourself, step into this energy of being one with the truth, the truth of who you are, I feel like that's present in both of those cards, that it's a win-win outcome. Like I said, it's just a very auspicious time. I just feel in that. I just keep feeling that. And the way through, the way we navigate through this, we step out of our comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node north node if i'm not mistaken my north node is in sagittarius see what see where your north node is but this gemini this butterfly it's like the butterfly effect like coming out of the darkness of the cocoon and and, and being ready being willing and open to spread your wings in new territory the win-win outcome is 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 present like stay in the space where optimism is is on the forefront and either way your thoughts are so aligned or and so in harmony with the best outcomes possible that left or right can be can still be a win. It's a win to the left, it's a win to the right. But don't at this time, don't step out of your comfort zone and don't knock yourself um don't knock yourself out of the energy of being in receptive mode by you know how we think of something that we want and then that voice in the back of our head automatically be like, oh, but da, 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 da. it's that. No, train, like massage that out by continuously feeding the great things, all great aspects of the situation. Like it's going great like this. It's going great like this. Stepping out of my comfort zone gives me, I get to finally talk about this. I get to do this. I get to display this. I get to da, da, da. Excite yourself, okay? Be excited. Continue to give yourself the best situation, the best outcome possible. Stop automatically having and being in alignment with what it is that you want to manifest or just the oneness of your truth and then immediately combating it with a fear, combating it with like combating it with, you know, a circumstantial perspective. It's time to step into this energy of truly being an emotional being. And when you honor that you are an emotional being under this emotive water sign of Pisces in the moon of the, the intuition given the darkness the true harmony of all of those put together you start to vibrate in the energy and reality of you being a vibrational being okay so you have to feel good you have to feel these things you have to step out of your comfort zone 
and be okay with feeling that budding energy of newness okay and still knowing that you are you are even more more so facing your true north your north no you're more so facing your true north keep facing your true north the butterfly like come out of that cocoon fly high i don't i was gonna sing another song i'm not gonna sing it whatever okay in the outcome your commitment is being tested to look at the bigger picture so yeah so as you step out of your comfort zone and you're dealing with this energy of optimism that is present we're first quarter moon here full moon in sagittarius so we got some sagittarius energy on the board look at the bigger picture because you have to be fearless you have to really step into that energy of courage that, that's what i'm truly um fine-tuning my frequency to is being courageous because i'm stepping in i'm stepping out of my comfort zone in a lot of areas i'm being a lot more vocal a lot more seen and be seen a lot more active in ways that i've never been active before and so my commitment to my true self is definitely being tested so we're all we're all working with this same energy like how bad do you want it are you going to give up just in the beginning because it feels so brand new or are you going to stay committed to the vision stay committed to your true self and we've been told to look at the bigger picture so even when um a situation or if you come into a moment where you have stepped out of this frequency of optimism you're being told to we're being told now more than ever to keep the bigger picture at the forefront and I feel like that cosmic awareness that's supporting us, because you know, at the end of that, we are the cosmos made conscious. That energy that's supporting us is very dominant right now. So no matter what, remember that you are simply stardust, okay? Remember that you are the universe and that you have you have all you need okay you don't need anything outside of you to fix you be honest with yourself slay these dragons slay these dragons of mental strife slay these dragons of fear slay these dragons of lack mindset slay those dragons butterfly effect step out of that bloom from that like literally wings soar fly high fly right out of your comfort zone and when you feel as if you are being tested and tried know that you are because the universe your higher self is saying how committed you are to this merge how committed you are to this new way of life how committed you are to opening yourself up to experience the magic of life okay so let's wrap this up with some tarot just to get a little bit more specific okay what's option a if it's a win-win forecast, what's option A? What's option A? What options do the collective have at this time? What energy... Oh, snap. It's a lot. What energy are we more geared towards right now, Spirit? Thank you so much. Woo, option A. All right, one more for option B. What's option B? Because we got options. Okay. All right. And how do we decide? How do we decide? Give me one more card. How do we decide which is best? Which is most supportive to us right now? Option A, we got the Six of Swords. Change gonna come. You can decide to finally leave it all behind. Let it go, cause it don't. It it can't go. It can't fit in the boat. It can't go where you're headed. It's not part. You, it it's not. Everybody can't come. Option A, you can let it the go. You can free yourself, free your mind, and the rest follow. Option B, we have the four swords reverse. Four Swords Upright is that meditative energy, okay? Four Swords Reverse intuitively. It's just giving me... It's just like, get up. Like... 
and that and, and and to me it's like a get up in the energy sector like get your vibration up like vibe higher because four swords is like i said four swords upright is that just going off of the technicality it is the energy of like being a more in a rest in a meditative state state but in reverse it's giving me this energy of because sometimes we take a rest out of depression or sometimes we're only led to a meditative space that's anchored more in sadness so we are resting physically but mentally we aren't resting so this other option intuitively i feel this is giving me the energy of allowing and heightening your vibration through deliberate attention and attraction okay like meditate in motion okay by intuitively meaning trusting allowing yourself to be one with the present moments and seeing what they feed you How do we decide which way to go? Ace of Pentacles. Came out reverse. Deciding which way to go. If, okay, what I'm feeling is that it might be best to choose, choose the road less traveled which one of these options would um would you would you not necessarily would you not which path would you usually not take due to the fact that money or the relationship you have with doing things to make money be less supportive of so if you have this energy, the reason as to why you're not leaving a situation, the reason, the reason as to why you're not freeing yourself from this system, the reason, the reason that you're not walking away from things, the reason that you are choosing to put your, yourself in vibrational alignment with your higher self, with Earth's frequency, with your truth outside of, you know, this matrix system. Yeah. Because it's giving me like money is a, is the reason why a lot of us continue to do the things that we do, and it's because our relationship with opportunities, our relationship with financial abundance, our relationship with our mentality about what we have to um, do to make money. Stepping into the energy, whichever one of these helps you step into the energy of attraction. So you can be more accustomed to the laws of attraction opposed to the physical labor and demand of the low vibrational exchange. For, you know, like going to that same terrible job that keeps you trapped in a cubicle that makes you feel about this big. You are still a slave to the money. Okay, which path is going to be the one less travel? Some of us are going to be walking away from a small life and stepping into the big one don't forget to look at the bigger picture don't forget that we're in the energy of miracles don't forget that magic is on your side all you got to do is be honest with yourself slay this dragon of mental lack mental you know lack of mental awareness lack of a mental and emotional availability for yourself and see that you don't need nobody to fix you not even money to fix you because it don't it's just a tool for you to use you get what i'm saying a lot is on the board here with this pisces new moon and it's stepping in like we're all this the swords is the the mind you know what i'm saying the air sign is here like we said gemini the energy of gemini is supporting us right now and so um a lot of us are truly in the space of wanting to attract more abundance and that comes the the you decide how you get to the bag the way to the bag is the spiritual route all okay? right because these things that you're being told to leave behind this restlessness is that energy of restlessness and that energy of stagnation yeah which path do you know is like speaking to you 
and you know you have been avoiding that's going to help you. You know once you shift this mindset. You know when you start exercise. You know when you start getting rest. You know when you put in your two-week notice that you're going to open yourself up to, to the Ace of Pentacles, to a new opportunity. Take the road, let's travel. Go there. Go there because, butterfly, it's time. It's time to spread your wings. All right? I like this message. If it resonates with you and you watch this entire video please leave me three brown hearts in the comments section so you can let youtube know that you like my content and it will be really appreciated so last but not least what's the wisdom that we need to carry with us through this transit spirit thank you so much for speaking to me so clearly what energy what wisdom do we need to carry us through unfinished symphony it's time to start playing the song of our heart's desire this is giving me the energy of getting into alignment your commitment is being tested don't forget to look at the bigger picture you have a mission you have a song to sing you have a song to sing. So if it's time to walk away from that, that cubicle, is it time for you to step out of that depressed state that you know no one knows that you're in because at the end of the day, you're just going through the motions. But if you're, you're restless, your, your mind and your heart is restless because of your lack of deliberate attraction and attention, you can't focus on the bigger picture of what or what your heart is truly trying to tell you because you have to let go of some things you know unfinished symphony all right let's read and it's number 10 completion completing the cycle work in this card if uh if anything is so pisces energy this is the energy of pisces for sure so we have unfinished symphony let's get the oracle message for that unfinished business an incomplete lesson lack of closure the need to make amends this is the time to tie loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill before you can move forward it's important that you come to terms with where you are now practice radical acceptance take inventory that's what we're really doing here so the emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found you can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note moving on is difficult when love lingers things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closing your relationship and in your heart you can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you it's important to achieve this for yourself so if any one of us are having to walk away from a relationship right now that's no longer serving us, understand that you give yourself closure. Don't don't allow, or if you're in between a relationship and holding on to the energy of it, don't allow closure, you needing to just hear it one more time or to experience one more, uh, let it go. Give yourself closure because deep down inside, you know this is no longer serving you. And last but not least, let's read the prosperity message. Make sure you complete projects now before starting new ones. However, if you don't see it through, it won't add up to anything but more clutter. Perhaps you have created something special that will increase your sense of abundance and bring you opportunities for wealth. Now is the time to put your nose to the grindstone and complete the tasks that you have accumulated. Pay your bills, sign the documents, do your filing. Hand in an assignment, complete a work of art, tie up loose ends so that you can move forward with surety, knowing that you're on the prosperous path and feeling refreshed and excited about the future. Thank you all so much. I send love, protection, peace, and prosperity to you and yours in hopes that this message brought you clarity and ease. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the flip side.